All right, now we're going to look to see whether um, this represents a function. And in this case, we're now graduating up a little bit closer to where we need to be. We started out with just a picture representation. Now we're going to move to a collection of points. So here we have these four points, and we're going to decide whether they're a function or not. Well, it might be a little bit more difficult to look at it in these terms. So let's write out these points, um, something kind of like what we looked at in our first example with you know boxes and arrows. So um, our very first point here was 0, negative 2. These two things are related to each other. This x is only going to 1y. Okay. Now our next set of points is 1, 3. So this x value of 1 is only associated with one y value. Now let's look at the third um, set of points. That would be 2, and it is associated with 3. Now this might be a little bit confusing right here because we do look like we have this arrows going to the same number. But we have to go back to the definition. This x value is only associated with one y this x value is only associated with one y. Therefore, they're okay. They're, neither one of them are cheating. Then finally, our last point is 3, 7. So 3 is associated with 7. Every single one of these x values is only associated with one y value. So that tells us that this is a function. Now, because it's a function, we have to look at the domain and the range. The domain is always the x's, or the first set. So in this case, it would be the set of 0, 1, 2, and 3. All of our first items here. The range is our set of y's, or our second items. So our range would be right here the negative 2, the 3, and the 7. Now, this is our correct answer for this problem. Now, what would happen if it had been slightly different, though? What if we'd had another point here that said 3, 8? Now, would that be a function? Well, again, to see, and I, I think I'm going to write that in blue so that we don't confuse that with what we did a while ago. Okay, now we can still do the same thing. We can say 0 is associated with negative 2, 1 is associated with 3, or related to, 2 is related to 3, 3 is related to 7, and 3 is related to 8. Now this is no, no longer a function because we have the same exact x value associated with two different y values. I hope that makes it a little bit more clear.